<laughs> okay, um, I'll go a bit more serious now. Basically, this headset is super simple to sideload on. As you've probably seen, the headset was only just turned on. It wasn't even set up or controllers picked up. Um, as soon as the controllers vibrate to let you know the headset's turned on, you can plug a USB cable in and it just appear in Windows as a storage device. So that's that's awesome. There's no going in to click confirm or OK or whatever. It just it just shows up. Um, and then you can just drag APKs anywhere on the on the headset itself. And then uh, yeah, it'll, you just basically go back into your headset once you've done. Um, you've got file manager down in the in the bottom row here by default anyway, but it's also in library. Um, so you've got your file manager built into the headset um, and the actual Pico UI itself. And then obviously I've got them on local storage, but you could do this for external storage by using the directory. So uh, all the local storage, basically all the APKs I've just dragged on, it doesn't really matter what they are in the system. You just go on APKs, it detects them, which is incredible. That's that's completely awesome. But if you did need to manually find something, uh, you have got the directory there, which is obviously just a standard Android directory. So where I've saved them is in a folder called APKs, but it doesn't need to be there. It could just be, it could be here, it could be anywhere. Um, so if I just go back to all here, and again, any of these, it doesn't really matter. I've got all these installed, but you just click on them and install. And so far, everything that I seem to be trying is working, even just for shits and giggles, doing Oculus seems to work. Um, but if I go back to library here, um, I'll show basically, I know Netflix starts vertically, which I can never get this side loaded um, in Oculus TV before, because obviously it's a vertical profile and just it just didn't, it just didn't work. Whereas this is, again, still resizable, so however you want, which is pretty funny. Um, and it's obviously vertical profile apps will work in this situation too, which is, again, unheard of and absolutely incredible. So I'm going to click exit here because um, I can go over what that exit button does in a second. The next um, one I'll quickly show and what people are probably going to be more interested in is Discord. Even if you're not going to do your English and stuff, Discord voice chat works. Um, I'm, I'm amazed it does. So I've already installed it. I used this app, like the sideloaded app, to actually create a second account because you've got full control. Basically, it's exactly as you would on Android. You've got your keyboard, um, your laser pointers and a mouse. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, I've created this system on the PC. So I've got my my normal user um, sitting on the PC in a little voice channel, ready and waiting. And I'm just going to join, much like you would if you had your Discord set up. I'm just going to join the voice channel. So um, I click the wrong bloody button. I go to general and then join voice. So that pinged, pinged across. So with any luck, um, the voice coming out of the computer is going to be quite clear because I know for a fact on these recordings I'm doing now for you, um, the microphone gain is a little off, um, but I'm not sure how that translates into into this. So what I'll do is I'll lean forward and I'm very going to quickly start an OBS recording um, to see what the actual volume difference is going to be. So this is a test. This is a test. One, two, three. This is a test. This is a test. One, two, three. And then I'll replay that, obviously, uh, once it's on the, on the PC. And then I'll replay that, obviously, uh, once it's on the, on the PC. So from here, obviously, you've got your normal back button, which acts as Android, um, sort of back button, as you would, um, puts it into sort of system RAM. The exit is obviously going to just exit um, not the full app out of RAM, but it will give control back to Pico OS for the microphone. So if I use back, obviously I can keep this up on my PC in a minute um, just to show you that it's still working. And I can just use the headset as you normally would um, to, to basically chat to someone in the background, um, which is it's awesome. I mean, it doesn't even need to be Discord. It could probably be Skype or WhatsApp or whatever. I haven't I haven't got around to trying everything yet. But yeah, it all just it all just works. Um, Welcome to Racket the, NX. The, the catch to this, well, it's not really a catch because it's a bonus anyway. But there is, um, if I click the button once. On the Pico controller, there's a little Pico button, um, the lowest one under the X. If you tap it once, it brings up like a quick menu for your casting and screenshots, and it says free up space. And I was hoping that this would obviously um, clear the, the RAM of um, games in the background, because that would be a quick way to sort of disconnect out of your um, your voice chat. But again, uh, it could be worse basically having that um, operate like that once the app's running. So. Um, to get out of the voice chat is just quite simple. You just go back into your Discord. Um, you don't even have to go into your general bit here to then disconnect. You could just go exit. 
um, and that's it. So it should no longer show me talking on my PC because now the OS has control and microphone again. Um, I have, <laughs> again, unless someone wants to give me a game of Racket NX, um, I've not got anyone to talk to on the, uh, the online games at the minute because uh, there's no way of testing if this Discord interferes with the actual OS um, feed. But for what you guys probably want it for, just playing local with your mates or whatever, or um, chatting while you're gaming to someone else who's playing something completely different, or even on a different headset, um, that's pretty awesome. Especially if there is um, later on cross-compatibility between the, the games, like say if you're playing Arizona Sunshine, and uh, someone could be on a Quest, someone could be on a Pico, Obviously, the voice chat's never really going to work between the two servers, but that is a, a fantastic solution. So, yeah, I'll leave it there. I'm going to show a few outro videos of um, some extremely cool stuff you can do with this. So, again, GeForce Now works. All the stream apps work. All the emulators are working. Um, just having a basic um, Xbox wireless controller, the Xbox One Bluetooth version, that connects and works absolutely no problem at all and it acts exactly like it would if you were pairing to your phone. Um, so it's no no dodgy trickery going on where it can't pass into the um, into the TV environment as such like Quest. Um, it just works. So GeForce now is completely everything's completely playable um, which is just it's just awesome. So yeah, let me know what you guys are obviously sideloading because I'm, I'm super interested just to see just how far I can push this thing. Um, there's a lot of USB on the go programs I want to sort of get up and running and just being completely stupid with this at this point um, I might even try to get a, a virtual here um, virtual here is like a USB over the over the internet or over your network connection and I'm going to see if I can get a, uh, a steering wheel and then use the wireless um, PC VR to, <laughs> to be properly wireless um, on the steering wheel apart from the mains plug to power the force feedback but that would be that would be just stupendous if that works this is this is this is making me so happy being able to tinker with uh, all of this stuff. But enjoy these outros of just the really cool shit you can do with this headset. Um, cheers, guys. You're looking for you. Your implants are still adjusting to the software. I'm in a prison. I can calibrate only your basic protocols from in here. It'll have to suffice for now. chosen few. Mara strictly controls the flow of resources between the city and the base. Food, water, people. Your engines for a Sony Computer Entertainment America production. Fasten your seatbelts for another Naughty Dog creation. <laughs>